Hi, this video is to show you how to set up your CRM. So when you're here in the management portal homepage, go to settings in the top menu and then select CRM settings. That'll take you to this page. Now as you can see there's a number of different tabs across the top of the screen but the first one defaults to invoices. So this is where you set up your accounting system and your invoices. You'll see in the accounting software that there's a drop down. You can select if you're using Zero, for example, you select Zero from the uh, accounting software choices, and automatically the system will integrate with your CRM account. So you can, it will pull in all of your invoices, all of your customer history, all of your uh, line items and tax rates and everything else will automatically be pulled in from Zero into the CRM. Now it takes about 10 minutes, so be patient for that information to pull through. The other settings within invoices is the zero setting. So when we create an invoice in Formatize and push it through to zero, you can set the status that you'd like that invoice to appear in zero as either approved, submitted, or draft. You can set the uh, prefix uh, numbering format, and you can select the first number that you want us to start with. So we can, we'll, we'll start from zero, 01 by default, but if you want to us to uh, start off where your old system finished, then you can set that number there. Default payment terms, so again, that will decide the default terms for every invoice that's generated. You can adjust that on an invoice by invoice basis, but this will be your overriding default. And then you can customize the wording of the email that goes with the invoice. Uh, to do that, you put in the text, as you can see there, and then you can bring in placeholders from the CRM just by pressing Control space. So as you, you put, put in your free text, and whenever you want it to pull information from the CRM, just touch the Control space, and you can see a whole lot of placeholders appear there that you can select from, and that'll automatically pull the correct information in for that client, uh, or for that invoice in this case. And then you've got payment terms and conditions underneath. So this is where you put your payment terms. It's also where you include things like bank account details for direct credit transfers and that sort of thing. And underneath we've got the uh, reminders. Now it's up to you whether you use the invoice reminders or not, but you can set up your own customized emails, SMS letters and tasks to trigger automatically whenever an invoice becomes X number of hours, days or months either before the due date or after the invoice is due. And they will then, once they're set up, will automatically trigger to chase those outstanding invoices for you. So it takes a little bit of time to set up and get the wording exactly as you want it, but once you've done, you've done it, all of your invoice chasing is just happening automatically in the background. Okay, so that's invoices. If we move across the tab, quotes is very similar uh, to invoicing in that you can set the prefixes and the numbers. You can put in a quote title, your full quote terms and conditions and summary, uh, and then the email that is to go with that. It will automatically default to 30 days for the expiry of the quote. And again, you can set up your own automated quote reminders. So once you've pushed your first quote out, you can have the system automatically sending up reminders to the client uh, to chase those quotes and try and get a result. Purchases, again, for any expenses that you're buying, exactly the same process. In the accounts tab, you can, now bearing in mind if you're working with Zero, all of this information will automatically populate. But this is where you set up the accounts within the system if you're not using an accounting software. To create a new account, just go across to the green new account button on the right hand side. And uh, that will give you the different categories that you can select accounts in whether it be revenue, assets, equity, bank, expenses and liabilities and so on. And then you can give it a code and a name and a description and then allocate the tax type to that account. So they're all available for you. Taxes, you can set up different types of taxes if you're using more than one, for example. All the defaults will be there based on your country, but you can also hit new tax and that will bring in, you can create a new tax account if you need to. Items are essentially line items for your invoices. So you can have as many of these as you like so that when you're populating invoices, these line items will become available. Again, on the right hand side, hit new line item, put in a code, give it a name. You can choose whether it's something that you are either purchasing or selling and often it's both. So you've got a, a buyer price and a sell price. And then you put in your default unit prices, the account that it relates to, the tax rates that it relates to uh, on both the purchasing and the selling. Uh, and then these line items will then be available through your job types and whenever you're creating an invoice. 
So that's line items. Pipeline stages, you may or not be using the sales pipeline, but when you create leads, you can assign different stages to that lead from warm to cold to warm to hot, for example, or from lost to converted. And you can set different percentages against the different stage names. So for example, when it's dead, it's zero, and when it's converted, it's 100%, and you can have different stages in between. And the way that this then applies is when you're looking at your pipeline in the management portal, it automatically assigns these percentage likelihood of success against the amount and gives you a balanced overall sales pipeline calculation. So have a play with that. There is also again an automated leads communication and follow-up solution. So you can trigger different communications as the lead moves through its different stages. So it's a great way to automatically follow up your leads as they move through the pipeline. The next tab is SMS. This is where you set up your SMS credits. Um, it will tell you what your current balance is. You can then purchase prepaid credits for the SMS. And then you can also create an automatic top up. So when your balance hits a certain level, it will automatically apply a new credit. And that will be debited off the credit card once you've set this profile up. Emails is the next setting. And uh, in here you can, this is where you set your default email footer. Custom variables are on the, on the contact section of the CRM. When you're creating a new contact, it automatically populates with all of the normal business fields. So billing name, primary contact details, telephone and contact details, that sort of thing. But you can also create your own custom fields. So if there is certain information that you want to collect about a customer that isn't in our standard fields, then you can create your own. An example might be a birthday. You might want to collect your customer's birthdays. So in the custom fields at the bottom, you can add as many custom collections for those contact details as you like, just by hitting add another variable. And then finally is a list of your templates. So if you're creating templates in the CRM, this is where they're all stored and where you can um, view them and change them. You can, you can have email, SMS and letter templates all stored here and it will track them for you and, and uh, you can update them from here. Okay, so this is where you go to basically set up your CRM in the first place. It takes a little bit of time to tweak it and get it exactly as you want it, but once it's done, there's so much automation that will be triggering and generating for you. Okay, thanks very much for your time.